Chaz, Chaz Parker, uh, delighted to talk to you about the Michael Turner collection. It's, it's a remarkable book. It's fantastic. In my opinion, it works on two levels because it's not only a collection, a catalogue, if you like, of all the Christmas cards that Michael produced all these years, over all those many, many years, but also, of course, it's a fantastic, very large selection of his wonderful paintings. Now, how did this idea come to you originally? Well, I've been a fan of Michael's work for many years, Philip. Um, I think in the early 70s, I was aware that he produced these Christmas cards each year. I used to see the advertisements in motorsport magazine and autosport and, and such like. Um, and then one year I um, actually bought a set, uh, probably about 75, 76, I think was the first lot I got. Um, and they depicted half a dozen or so scenes from that year's um, Grand Prix season. Now, I'm a bit of a collector, as you may notice from the background here, um, books in particular. And once I realized that he'd been doing these for a few years and that some of the older ones were still available, I set out to get as many of the um, previous year's um, cards that I could and gradually built up a collection over the years and then continued to buy them each Christmas. They were um, a, a little standout moment in the year, really, getting the, the annual set of, of Michael Turner uh, motor racing Christmas cards. Um, and I... Uh, continue to to buy them right up till the 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 year he finished producing them in in 2016. Uh, and presumably, presumably you kept these rather than send them out to to friends or family. Yes, that's right. Um, I did. I'm afraid I was very selfish mm -hmm. and um, kept them and put them all into um, folders, which I was able to obtain from Michael's company, Studio 88. Um, and there's just one example of um, many folders that I've got containing his cards. They very much became part of the motor racing scene, didn't they? I mean, you'd, I'd, I'd be amazed if anybody was not aware of them, because if you, as you say, open motorsport or autosport, or if indeed I think I must have received cards from friends over the years and so on. So it was something I think anybody and everybody interested, certainly in Formula One and probably motor racing, was aware of, they're really very much part of the scene. And it's a great, great sort of snapshot of the season, isn't it? Yes, it is. Um, and one of the things that uh, makes Michael stand out, I think, is his attention to detail. Um, and these snapshots, as, as you said, then they are like a snapshot, they're like a photograph because he has captured a moment in time, a particular manoeuvre by a driver um, a, 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 during a, a particular Grand Prix or, or other race. Um, and he has spent so much time checking the background detail, checking the, um, the car, the, what particular logos are on it at that time. Um, and so there is something very realistic about Michael's work. And that's, that's probably what appealed to me above um, many of other motorsport artists. Well, the extraordinary thing about Michael is, as you say, not only the detail, but also he's been around for so long and he's been recording in his wonderful paintings, uh, the, the history of, of motorsport, particularly Formula One, since the, the early sixties. I mean, it's a, it's a wonderful, view and I think this is one of the great qualities of, of the book that one can see how Formula One cars have evolved you can see so clearly all the way through season by season right through from the sort of simpler shapes to the highly complex shapes of today and I think that's a fascinating record of motor racing. It is and um, I mean Michael himself commented on how the cars became increasingly difficult to, um, to paint because they had they gradually began to have so many little aerodynamic appendages attached to them. Um, the shapes became far more complex and obviously far harder to reproduce. Um, and also the, the color schemes evolved from very simple um, national racing colors with um, perhaps a, a sticker of a um, an oil company or, or something on them to the 
the fully sponsored designs that we see today. And of course, the, the quality, the great quality of a, of a painting over a photograph is that one can capture a dramatic moment and get the drama of the race into that painting. So it might be a half spin or a spin or whatever, but it's, it's, it, it, it brings it all absolutely alive, doesn't it? Oh, it does. And as, again, as Michael explained to me during the, the many conversations I had with him about the cards, um, what he is able to do is project himself into a different perspective, a different position that a photographer could never get to. Um, so we can actually see um, an incident occurring from very close up from the middle of the track, um, perhaps slightly above or, or even behind. Um, and that is something, as I say, a, a photographer could never capture that particular um, view of the, the car or the incident. And that's where Michael is able to, um, through taking lots of reference photographs himself and looking at um, some of the coverage on television, um, work out exactly how something would have looked at from a particular perspective. Wonderful, absolutely amazing. And of course, it isn't just a book of paintings. Wonderful though those paintings are, and there's over 300, 300, something like, well, 330 plus, I think I'm right in saying. But it's not just that, is it, Chaz? I mean, tell us please about the, the text that goes with the paintings. Well, what I did, Philip, was I, I spent many hours, and I do mean many, um, talking to Michael about each individual painting, um, why he'd chosen that particular um, uh, Grand Prix, race, whatever, um, why he'd chosen that particular subject and the, the angle that he'd chosen as well. So his memory is wonderful and goes back so far to the, the 1960s when he started producing these. Um, and within the text, I've, I've got him to talk about what it was that inspired each of those um, paintings. And it, it was a long process because of the, um, the coronavirus situation. We weren't able to meet as often as we wanted to. We had a couple of brief meetings early on in the project before um, lockdown, uh, the first lockdown started. So we, we had to spend a long time talking to one another on the telephone. And because both of us are slightly hard of hearing, there was an awful lot of shouting and um, sort of, no, no, I said this, not that um, going on, um, which was probably frustrating for, for both of us. But we got there in the end. And I, I hope that the results um, reflect the, the work we put into uh, the text, as well as Michael's wonderful photograph uh, paintings. Well, Chaz, I'm very confident they do. I think it's a, it's superb, the result. I mean, you, you came to me, oh, must be a, probably a couple of years ago with this concept. And I wasn't too sure, if I'm honest. I loved the idea. And of course, I'm a great uh, admirer of Michael's work. And indeed, it's a great honour to work with him. Very much so, very proud indeed. But I wasn't entirely sure whether this was something that would appeal uh, to our, our customers. But gradually, you convinced me and full marks you. I'm absolutely delighted you convinced me. I think it's an absolutely superb book now of a very large collection of wonderful paintings spiced with period comments and, and all sorts from Michael and a running commentary from yourself. Superb production, well done. Thank you very much, Philip. That means a lot for you to say that. And I, I am so glad um, that you had the faith in the project and in uh, my ability to uh, uh, to see it through as well and um, yeah I, I'm certainly delighted with the result I've been it's been delightful to work with Michael um, and it's I think because I was collecting the cards and there are still a few gaps in my collection uh, going back to the very early ones I wanted to have a record of every single card he'd done and this is the book that I always wanted to have <laughs>